Okay, hello and welcome back. This is stage three of how to build your own cajon uh, from the Freddie Nelson flat pack cajon, which is available via the link in the description uh, just below this video. Um, right now you should have something which resembles this. Um, in the last stage we put on the front and we put on the back and we put the snare in. So this right now is starting to sound uh, like a cajon, you know. This is where we put the snare and we'll have the bass section there. The table's rattling there as well. But you get the idea. Now, the only thing left to do with this is to clean it up, uh, sand it and get it into shape, put the feet on and then apply a finish. If you want to apply a finish, that's entirely up to yourselves. Um, when we put the front on and the back, you'll remember that these were just a slight overhang here. What we want to do is get that overhang smoothed off and sanded down to the actual side of the cajon. That can be done in a number of different ways. My personal preference is the rasp. Uh, this is an excellent tool if you have a good sharp rasp. That's going to take that wood off there, no problem. Just straight into it. If you're using a rasp, and if you're not familiar with using a rasp, use it with the force on the down stroke only. Don't use force coming back, otherwise you're going to split the wood. You want just force that way, and then nothing on the way back. So you could use a rasp to do that. Another excellent tool for it is the block plane. Uh, the block plane is very good for if you want to take this down to size that way. That will do that very quickly. And you've just got to be careful not to nick the body of the cone. So, you know, keep the plane on a slight angle there. And again, you don't want to be using the plane across the bottom of the cone. That will split the bottom wood. So what I do is this to the centre. And then we'll flip the cone round do it the other way to the centre and then you're not going to get any splits or rags uh, on the corner of the cajon. If you don't have one of these and if you don't have one of these another thing which you could use is an electric sander. Um, you can use one of these, a round sander, any type of sander you have really and you want a fairly coarse paper on to begin with and that will take the wood down all the way around, take it down on them and then you can swap that for a uh, finer grit paper to get a better finish on it. If you don't have one of these and you don't have anything else, a piece of very coarse sandpaper and a block will do the job exactly the same. A little bit more effort involved but a lot more satisfaction. So you can take that down into the body of the cajon, take all of the glue off, get a nice tight finish between the two. Once that's done, what we do, and which has become a little bit of a signature for the Freddie Nelson Cajon, is we take the corners off with the rasp to make a nice rounded corner. These are just a little bit sharp, you know, they're just pointing a little bit too much. So with the rasp, or again any of these similar tools, uh, the plane would probably be difficult to do with that. But the sander for sure, sandpaper. What we find is if you just take a few swipes off the corners, like so, that will give you a nice rounded sort of finish on the corner. And then when it comes to the final finishing, again using sander, we would sand this down, sand the corners in, sand all the way around, sand the surface of the cajon, get it nice and smooth. And when that is done, you practically have a cajon. The only other thing that you want to do is put the feet on. So let's assume, for the sake of it, that I've sanded this down and it's all nice, and there it is. In fact, um, I have one here, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll just show you how to put the feet on this. You'll remember at the very beginning, we'll put four pads or little blocks of wood underneath each corner. Now the feet, the rubber feet that you got with this, these are good quality little rubber feet. Um, they have a metal washer in the middle to take the screw. And you want to place them just above the blocks. 
Now I find uh, this is about half a centimetre, eighth of an inch, something like that, in from each corner. You could measure that precisely for each one if you wish. Uh, I normally find I can do it by eye. And then you just want these screws in. Um, to put the screws in, I'm going to use an electric drill because it's going to take us ages to use this thing. You don't really want to watch me just putting those screws in. This is an electric drill and it has a torque setting on it. This is important. Set it to a fairly light torque because you don't want to crush the foot, right? Um, if, if, it's, if you put too much pressure on that, it's going to push that, that washer through the bottom of the foot. So you want... I've got it on the second setting here. Best to start off light and take it up if you need to. So we're going to put that on there. Start it off. There it is. Now that's on. It's still nice and flat. It hasn't pushed the uh, washer too far. And that's on a very light setting. So once more, the foot's more or less in place. There we go. And that's, whoops, nearly. That one wants a little bit more, so I'll just adjust the tool. There it is, that's good. So they're going through the cajon body into the pads below, and the feet there will be fantastic. That's all been sanded down, and now, put this one away, you should have something like this. Uh, this is the finished article. With this one, um, it has a snare up there, bass tone there, and it's, it's ready to play. The Freddie Nelson flat pack cajon. Very simple to make. You don't need a lot of tools. Basic tools will enable you to make a cajon like this. Um, what else can I tell you about it? The finish. Applying a finish to this is, again, entirely up to yourselves. We have used a number of different finishes. This one here has a teak oil finish. It's just been given a very light coating of oil. This will raise the grain slightly uh, because it's wet and it's, it's going to raise the grain. So when that's been done, use a very fine sandpaper just to go back over that and it'll give you a beautiful smooth finish. Get them corners, round it off like so, make sure there's no spalks on it. Also you can just give round the uh, sound hole a little going over with a sandpaper and that would be your cajon. So that's it, that's how you put your cajon together. Um, minimal tools required, screwdriver, glue, uh, some tourniquets. You can build this very easily, it's a lot of fun to build and you can play it uh, you know, nice acoustic music, take it out to Buskers nights, record with it, do what you wish with it. But there it is. I hope that this video has helped you to put this cajon together and shown you uh, how easy it actually is to do. Okay, thank you very much.